Alright everybody, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video, and today guys, we're going to look at a new Golly Sopod deck from Guardians Rising. Now, Golly Sopod is a really cool card, and it is the EX and GX killer that we have all wanted, and it is pretty dang cool. Now, Golly Sopod is a stage 1 Pokemon with 130 HP, which, you know, not too bad for a stage 1 non-GX Pokemon, and it's got a really powerful attack. Now, for a Grass and a DCE, you do 80 damage, and if your opponent's active Pokemon is a GX or an EX, it's going to do 150 damage. Now, that's not actually going to one-shot, but when you combine that with Choice Band, you're doing 180. Now, that's still not going to one-shot a lot of GXs and EXs, so we also have, uh, you know, Kikui in the deck. This will allow us to do the 200 damage, because sometimes we do need to do that. Um, just, you know, saying, like, if you're playing against, like, Sylveon or Umbreon or something, you will probably need the Professor Kikui to actually hit for the, uh, certain map you need, so that's kind of why we have that. But Golly Sopod is a very, very cool card, and it's actually got a good ability that technically gives it 160 HP, if you think about it. So, yeah, it basically has 160 HP. Now, I played, I made this Golly Sopod deck based more off of a Hammer's Disruption deck with, like, Flare Grunts, Skull Grunts, Delinquent, and Crushing Hammer and stuff like that. I think that was the best way to build a Golly Sopod deck. I was looking into uh, Lorantis here, which we'll check it out right now. Um, there's this Lorantis that, you know, is kind of, like, new right now. You can't get it on PDCGO. Um, through like the shop. I think you have to like buy a blister in real life But these pe the people are asking way too much for these things right now I was like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not spending all these packs because I basically I played a bunch of 24 ticket tourneys over the weekend to get a bunch of packs I basically I think I got like over 50 packs in total. I traded off some of them to get Tapu Lele GX um, But yeah, I never want to do tournaments again. Holy cow. They drive me insane. But anyways, Lorantis is really cool and it's good, but unfortunately, we could just, I can't afford these right now, and I don't want to pay a lot of money for these. I'm sure they'll drop in price. They'll probably add them in PDCGO, too. I'm pretty confident they'll come into the shop at some point, maybe this Wednesday. Um, now, this would be a great partner with Golly Sopod. It will make it do even more damage, so you can actually take easier one-shots. So, that's going to be cool. Um, now, there's a lot of things to look at with this deck. So, the first thing is Golly Sopod and its ability and attack, and you just one-shot stuff. Now, there's a lot of other things we have in this deck that are to help and support Golly Sopod in the wrong run. Because while it's pretty cool and while it does a lot of damage, you do need to basically take two turns to build it up. You need one Grass and a DCE, which, again, that's not going to be too easy to build up. You can, you know, use this with, like, Rayquaza or, like, Lorantis GX, but... I think just playing it by itself with Disruption is probably the best way to use it right now, if I'm going to be honest with you. So, the best things I partnered it with were Hammers, which I despise, but we used it anyways. Delinquent, you know, Team Flare Guns, we got Team Skullgrun in here. All these Disruption cards, just to make it a little easier on yourself to actually attack with Golly Sopod. Because remember, you are going to need a few turns to build this thing up. It is a stage 1, so the basic Pokemon of Golly Sopod and Wimpod can easily be knocked out. So these Disruption cards can slow it down for you and maybe give you enough support you need. And also, disrupting your opponent in the long run can always be very powerful. There's a lot of other weird things in here, like Max Elixir. You're probably like, why would you use Max Elixir? You can't actually use Max Elixir on your Golly Sopod. Well... Before we evolve it, we can use it on a Wimpod if it's in our hand. This way we can get more energy down on our Wimpod. So say our Golly Spot got knocked out really quickly. You know, since Max Elixir put energy on our Wimpod, we might still be able to build up our Golly Spot and respawn with a Golly Spot. Max uh, Experience Share would also be decent too in this deck. I think you can maybe throw an Experience Share in. I think Choice Band is better because it's giving you the more one-shot potential. Experience Share wouldn't be bad either, so that's always something to consider. But yeah, Max Elixir will just help us get more energy down, and it also just makes our aggressive plays a little more nicer because when Max Golly Spot gets knocked out, we kind of need that. Max Elixir can be useless, but I like having the three in here just so that we can keep making sure sure we're building golly spots up and so we have an army of golly spots ready because again we will need a golly spot to respond with when one gets knocked out and two energies you know isn't very easy to build up quick enough so max elixir can speed the process up a little bit and uh, the only other attackers we have in the deck are shaman which is just for setup for draw support and one tapu lele you know tapu lele's got energy driving it can carry its own if you're playing as mewtwo y which you know people still might be able to play i don't know if mewtwo y is gonna be playable anymore with tapu lele in the format but, you know, hey, there you go, you got that. So you can still use Mewtwo Y, and I don't know, if you run into Mewtwo Y or, like, Espeon, which, you know, Espeon can still be pretty good, you know, you can use your Tapu Lele. So I guess those matchups get covered okay. But you do have my boy Golly Spot as the main attacker. So, yeah, those are all of our Pokemon. We just have 10 Pokemon. Uh, we got four Wimpod, which, again, 
it's not really that great. Just scamper away, you're never really going to use. But we look at the items. We got three crushing hammers to disrupt. We got one enhanced hammer to disrupt. We got one field blower. Field blower can get rid of fighting fury belts if anyone still plays them. I think fighting fury belt will still be good with dark Rai, Just so, like, you get more HP. So it makes it harder for guard decks to one-shot you. Um, so we do have field blower. And sometimes get rid of tools and stadiums is important. Three max elixirs, again, it's so we can keep, you know, building up our wind pods. Sometimes they will whiff, that's why we do play three of them, because we only play seven grass, which isn't a whole lot. So max elixir, you know, having three of them can keep the odds, you know, better. Uh, one nest ball, you know, it's a bug type. All this spot is a bug type, kind of fits it. But no, the reason why we got nest ball is so we can get another uh, wind pod down. I mean, you can also nest ball for Tapu Lele if, like, they have a silent lab in play and you really want to get your Tapu Lele going. One special charge, since we are pretty reliant on DCE in this deck. One super rod to get back our stuff. You could play Rescue Stretcher, but again, I like having the super rod to get back, pardon me, energy too, if you really need it. We got three trainers mails since we do play a ton of important items in here like hammers and max elixirs and you know good supporters too for ultras so you we can search out stuff i always thought golly spot would have like a three retreat cost i mean it looks like something that would have a three retreat cost so it's like you could use heavy ball instead but unfortunately golly spot has a two retreat cost so we got to go with ultra ball four vs seekers for our supporters we do play a ton of different supporters first one is delinquent again it's a great disruption card we don't actually play any stadiums there is that one stadium that uh lets you um I think it's like 8th or something. It's this stadium right here. It's not bad, but unfortunately, it doesn't work with Gollisopod because it only works for basic grass Pokemon. If you could use this with your Gollisopod, you technically would have 190 HP, and I think Gollisopod with this stadium would be a lot better. Unfortunately, the stadium only works for basic grass Pokemon, so my boy Gollisopod will not work with Aether Paradise Conservation Area. It's kind of sad, I know. It, it would have been really nice to do, but hey, it's the way the boat floats. Um... We got two Lysanders in the deck, so, you know, you can Lysander, knock something out with Resolute Claws. We got three ends as draw support, four Sikkas. I mean, you could throw three Sikkas if you really wanted to, too. I guess that wouldn't be bad. Uh, one Kakui. Again, this is if in case we do need to do that 200 damage on the dot to knock out stuff like Umbreon's and, you know, Espeon's maybe, and really any GX Pokemon that can live, like Sylveon, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, you never know when Kiwi might actually be important to use anyways, right? You never know when those two extra cards come in handy. You could throw two in if you really are worried about the matchups where you can't one-shot GXs and the Kiwi would really help you one-shot them. Two Flare Grunts to help you with the disruption side of things. One Skull Grunt to, you know, help with disruption. Skull Grunt's really good against Sylveon because they grab three random cards and you just Skull Grunt them and you can just get rid of those two, maybe two energy they grab. So that's why Skull Grunt can be pretty fun. Uh, three Choice Band. This is obviously so our Resolute Claws can hit for 100. 180 damage on the dot for double colorless energy since obviously resolute claws needs it and also energy drive too you know and we got a total of seven basic grass energy you could go eight if you really wanted to um since again you do play three max elixirs but i'm pretty comfortable with hitting max elixir with only seven grass i don't think it's that hard to do so yeah this is the golly sapod deck i've built here for the standard format on pdcgo let's go in some matches with the deck and let's see if this deck can hold up and will golly sapod be a potential threat for the format let's find out okay guys let's go find some matches with our golly sapod deck here and uh See how the game goes and see how the deck can work in action here against a Trevenant deck. Ooh, that's not good. If it's Trev, then I might not even... I might just concede. I, don't, I think that matchup is pretty bad. Play a ton of items and stuff, like a ton of trainers. So better not be Trevenant. If it is, I'm going to cry. And if it isn't, I'm not going to cry. I tap a Lele start. It's not too bad. Actually, no, our hand's actually kind of bad right now. I think we need to start with Tapu Lele. If he doesn't turn one item off me, I can always delinquent maybe a forest and then, like, help us out a little bit. Uh, I want to get a Golly Spot down before we actually do that. But I need to try and burn as many items as I can right now. Um, so hopefully I can do that. And, uh, let's see. So it is going to be Trev. We are going first, so that's fine. kind of wish we had a uh, stadium right now. That'd be great. I think we just go... Nest ball and let's see what's in the deck. So one max extra seems to be prized. One sick is prized. Uh and I think no we don't have any grass energy prize. Alright, that's good. Alright, here we go. Max elixir, please hit. Hey hey, look at that. Look at that. We are getting energy down. I think we just ultra ball away these two. And I think we grab ourselves another Wimpod, and then we can just tap a Lele for Professor Sycamore instead of grabbing Shaman. Shaman might be a detriment in this matchup, you never know. So now the problem with Trevenant is, I mean, it might not, maybe it's like a Decidueye Plume. I mean, I'm praying it actually is Decidueye Plume. But, you know, if it isn't, rip in the chat. But, 
the good thing about playing against Trev here is we do have um, a lot of... We're not one-shotting him, which is bad. All right. You gave me a handful of trainers. Thanks a lot. But I can play some of these, so it's not too bad. Flagrant. Uh, we'll take that, I think. I'm going to hold on to that because Flagrant's actually really good. Um, I might just get rid of one of these golly spots. Enhanced hammer. Okay, I don't think we're going to need that either. So I think we can Ultra Ball away... A golly spot and enhanced hammer and then go super rod and then here i think we grab ourselves a second golly spot and then next turn we can do double evolution we be a seeker for sika we super rod back these two guys just try and burn i kind of wish kind of wish i was getting rid of some crushing hammers and stuff too because those are cards i just don't want to see could have grabbed delinquent but the problem with using um delinquent in this matchup though is the fact that when you do delinquent when the item locks in play, they can easily just get rid of items they don't need anymore, and that would actually help them more than it helps you. So, that's a no-no, guys. So, Delinquent is pretty much useless in this matchup, unless we would be able to use it on the first turn, then it wouldn't be as useless. But even then, we lower our hand size for, like, a Lily or a Shaman play, which is not fun. So, I think Delinquent is pretty bad in these five point matchups. Level, so it is going to be Trevenant, which is really awesome. Can't wait. Now, we don't one-shot him. We do two-shot Trevenant, and at least we two-shot Trevenant Break, too, which is also pretty good. Um, we do have a lot of ways to get rid of his energy, which could be decent, but depends on how that really goes. Depends also if he get an item lockout quick enough. If he can't, then uh, we might be okay to, you know, maybe get something going. If we can control his energy, then we'll be good, but we're limited to our Flare Guns and Skull Runs since item lock would shut down our Versus Seekers. We don't have Hex Maniac in the deck, either. You could throw in... Hex in this deck. The problem with using Hex Maniac in Golisopod is the fact that you shut down your ability, which, you know, you don't really want to do. Like, I think the ability is really important, so, yeah, you never want to really lose that. Hmm. But how is his turn going to go? Level Ball, does he have any supporter in his hand? He probably does. I mean, he did Acrobike in two males, so... If he has a supporter, then uh, there you go. I might even just not even sick of I don't really know if I want to lose some of these cards, like... Like, no, actually, I need the energy. I need the DC. I just don't... If he plumes me and I sick, I don't want to, like, draw into a handful of items. That would not be very fun. Because then we're going to get screwed over. Oh. Oh, he... Nothing. Nice. Okay. All right. We top deck a sicka. All right. We can go double Golisopod here. And we're going to have to go sicka. At least we can play a bunch of items as long as they're not crushing hammer because those are useless. <laughs> okay, then, game. I see you. I see you. Hmm. Alright. As long as he doesn't attack me next turn, then maybe we're okay. Um, as long as he doesn't top deck a supporter. He probably will, though, knowing my luck. Yeah, hopefully he doesn't top deck a Sycamore or something. If he top decks like a Professor Sicka, we're in trouble. Because he'll knock me out, and then uh, we won't have much else to do. We'll have to, we'll have to do Kikui next turn. I don't think is gonna matter anyways, and he just concedes. Okay, well, there you go. The Golly Spot deck beat a deck that, I mean, I don't even know if you can really win in a lot of situations. I guess we just got really lucky that game, because we play so many items in this deck, that matchup is just pretty, pretty awful. So, kind of glad that game went that way. But, all right, guys, let's go find a match with our Golly Spot deck, another one. Um, now, I... I gotta talk about this. Now, right now, I think the standard format is in a very bad state. There's just... I don't know. It's the Trevenant, the Garb, and when you're not playing against Trevenant Garb, you're either playing against, you know, Sylveon or Lapra. I don't know. Like, to me, the standard format right now is not really that fun and playable. Like, I don't really enjoy playing the format right now. But I'm still going to make videos. I'm just, like, kind of torn on whether I truly like standard right now or... Whether, I'm like, dude, this is getting a little too ridiculous. Now, I want to make a video um, talking about the possibility of Garbodor being banned. I did a video on this on Force Giant Plants about a month ago, and I want to do another one with Garbodor. I want to see if Garbodor could get banned, because to me, the card is a little broken. Like, I understand it's like, well, then, you know, don't play your items, but you're telling me I have the option to play. it's not like vile plume where it shuts down your items completely it's like i have the option to play these items but if i start playing them i'm gonna lose like that's a little dumb in my opinion um then also you can't tell me to you know make a deck not uh, item heavy because it's like well if i don't make my deck so item heavy then what's the point of printing so many cool item cards there's so many cool item cards that pokemon have printed but you can't really play them either because, you know, they don't have a good spot right now or because it's like, if I, you know what I mean? It, I don't know. Like, Garb, in my opinion, is the band. But we'll see how this goes. 
I don't think we are playing against any deck in particular, but oh goodness, his hand. Ugh, oh no. We have the Golly Sapod, Max Lixir, we might be able to power stuff up, but other than that, our hand's pretty bad. We are going first, too, so I don't know if we'll get donked or not. I don't know what my opponent's playing. I mean, uh, my Logue Tick Box, Alakazam Sleeves, I saw like, Fairy, Grass, Colors, could be Vespaquin. Oh yeah, it could be Vespaquin. I mean, Vespaquin, not really... But I don't know, that's when isn't terrible with Karen in the format, even though people don't really run Karen, so who really cares, I know, but it's like if ever, if Vespaquin ever popped up again. Okay, so it is Decidueye, but our hand is actually unplayable right now. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna DCE the active and then pass. No, no, please end me, please just, you have a huge hand, you probably don't want a Sycamore, dude, come on. Hit, hit me with that beautiful end so I can get a brand new hand of six. If not, then we're going to have to probably just wait it out until we can, you know, top deck a Pokemon. Um, we'll see what kind of Decidueye deck this is. I saw Fairy too, so that kind of confuses me. Um, I don't really know what Fairy types you could play. I, it's definitely... Yes, and he ends me! It, it worked, folks. It worked. The end is real. Now, depends if we even get a good hand. I might need to get two Wimpods down, because I don't want to Sky Return to a Wimpod and get knocked out. Well, then. I mean, it's better than the last hand we had, so I can't complain. But it's not that great. Must be real here. Um, wow. Okay, so he puts a fairy on his Daytrix and a sharp blade quill for 20. Well, then, that just happened. Choice band. Sure, we can, you know, we're probably going to have to Sky Return this turn. I could technically do Flare Gun. But I still might get knocked out. We are losing some VS Seekers, but I don't really want us to get discarded. Holy jeez, man. Dude. What? Oh, my God. Um, yeah, we can get rid of a DC, I think. We're gonna have to grab a Wimpod here and hope it doesn't... Okay, I'll scrap Tapu Lele. Yeah, oh, man, I need to get a Wimpod down. Oh my gosh. I am not drawing good today. Uh, let's just see. Four grass. I, mean, I could've gotten a grass too, I don't know. We still have a special charge. I think we have to grab Tapu Lele. I have to play this smart. I'm probably just gonna get an end. I don't really want to lose these. All... I don't want to lose all my VS Seekers on my like second turn i think we're just gonna have to grab ourselves an end here yeah it's fine i'll put a grass on i mean we can set up a tap of lele you know potential two shot if he deciduize me uh it seems fine he's not gonna knock out tap of lele it has no weakness tap of lele is a legend with no weakness um but yeah we're gonna have to play an end next turn i can't use sycamore again because i'll lose all of my other vs seekers which is not good we need to get a wind pod down though because deciduize can get threatening. I don't think the situation is too bad of a matchup because you are doing a ton of damage to it. Maybe my opponent will end me again. You never know. No, he's doing Skyla. Still kind of confused what my opponent's playing. Like, Fairy Energy and Decidueye is kind of weird. Like, I mean, is he like playing Sylveon Decidueye with like Magical Ribbon or something? I think he might actually be playing Sylveon Decidueye. Just Magical Ribbon seems to be a decent strategy with Decidueye, I guess. We'll see if he grabs an Eevee here. I'm pretty sure it is going to be Sylveon Decidueye. It's kind of what I'm guessing. Because he can Magical Ribbon and then damage with Feather Arrow. I guess that's what he's playing. I guess we'll find out if it is going to be it or not. It should be, though. My best guess right now. But you never know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the fairy type is like Gardevoir or Xerneas. Orangaroo. Alright, that still doesn't answer what kind of a thing he's playing. Unless he's using Fairy Garden in the deck also or Fairy Drop. Um, but that's not really, that's really clunky with Decidueye, so I'm still kind of confused as to what kind of Decidueye deck this is. So, I don't know. Okay, Scape Rope, he's probably going to go into a Rangaroo or Rowlet. No, he goes Rangaroo, okay. Psychic, alright, so we kind of have to be careful how much energy we put on our Tapu Lele then. Hmm. Psychic and, what? Okay, this is still really confusing. Double Tails for the win? Hey, Double Tails the win no and he got a decidueye down dang it all right now i am very confused what my opponent's running right now okay really where oh my goodness i could just do team flare gun and then hit him for 60 i, I need a wimpod down though that's the thing i mean i could do qe2 does it knock him out we're doing i think I think it is. Wait, hold, hold the phone. <laughs> He's got the energy on, so that's 20, 40, 60, 80. 
Yeah, we're only doing 80 right now. QE wouldn't even matter. So I think we gotta go N or Flare Gun. Flare Gun would buy us some more time. By N, I'll just give him a bet. He has Instruct, though. He did Skylar, too. Oh, man, this is so tough. I can't sick. I'm not gonna lose my all my VS Seekers. That just wouldn't be good. Man, this is this is so painful. I can flare grunt, buy some time. Like, I don't think it's possible to knock me out next turn. So, I guess we go flare grunt here, buy some more time. I guess I don't know. Sure, we'll do that too. And shaman for two. Sure, we can maybe hit a wind pod here. I don't know, if he knocks Tabulele, at least we have Shaman. Oh, come on, dude. Alright, we can delinquent him. If we can take out a Rangaroo and delinquent, that could be a pretty good play. I think we just hit him for 60. I don't know, man. We're not getting our Wind Pods down, which is kind of kind of upsetting. <laughs> we got the Golly Spod. We just want the Wind Pod. We need the Golly Spod for Decidueye. So, hopefully we can get some Wind Pod going very, very soon. Tabulele, I don't know how much longer it can hold out. My opponent's deck is very surprising because he plays all these weird cards like a Rangaroo and Psychic and Fairy and Decidueye. So... I, I'm kind of scared as to what he's playing because he might just pull out this crazy hat trick card. So I'm kind of reluctant here and I really do want to get out my uh, a, a golly spot sooner or later. So hopefully that can happen. He is going to end me. So he either top deck that or he had that in his hand the whole time. So I'm kind of glad I didn't end him now because he's giving me like another supporter for our turn. Technically. Can we get a wind pod? Yes. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's actually not too bad. As long as that trainer's mail can give us something good. Then that's not too terrible. He probably would just build up Decidueye. That's my best guess. Can Tapu Lele do enough damage to take it out? We have a choice band. He's going to need three energies to attack with this with his Decidueye GX. So, I mean, if we keep putting energy on, we could one-shot it. But I don't know if that's going to be worth it. See what my opponent does this turn. I'm still confused what his main attackers in the deck are. Because I can't really tell what, he's, like, what his main cards are. Alright, at least he isn't double Decidueye in me. Do I have a Lysander in my discard? If we can hit a Lysander, I might take out that Daytrix. Star Trix. Star Trix. I keep calling it Daytrix. It's Star Trix. Alright, thankfully he did put a Forest down, so we actually can go into Golly Spot, and I can do a Nest Ball here. Let's just see what's in the deck. Three Crushings. I need to hit some of my Hammers here, too, guys. Yeah, I need to hit some of my Crushing Hammers and stuff. That'd be really good. Good, so. Go Mail. What are we going to find? Alright, we're going to have Crushing Hammer. Nah, we'll we'll just take out that date that Dartrix. That's fine. Double Decidueye is a bit of a scary threat, so might as well just smack it here, take it out. Free prize too. I mean we could take it out a Rangaroo. Not really worried about a Rangaroo though. It's only got 60 damage on it, so Golly Golly Spot or you know Tapa Lele's already gonna knock it out, so not really a big deal. I think we can just smack his uh, dart tricks, but I gotta get some hammers. I gotta remove his energy off the board, because with Decidueye, they do tend to use a lot more energy than usual. So if we can try and remove some of that energy, because he's getting he's getting two turns to build one up. So he does bring out Decidueye, which is a bit of a weird decision. If he can find another DCE, we probably well not gonna knock him out. Don't have any damage on him, but it's still kind of a weird play that he brought out Decidueye. Okay, he does play Sylveon, so it does confirm. I guess it's like Sylveon Espeon Decidueye, since Psychic Energy would be for Espeon, I guess. Well, you know, it's not too terrible. If he puts Espeon down, we can save our Capilele. I'm probably gonna just. Sika and try and hope that I hit the DCE so we can attack him here. There's a VS Seeker. He's probably going to go N, but he's sick mode already, so he's got a Lysander. Alright, at least he can't do it, though. He might even Feather Arrow this. Like, he's going to do 90 Feather Arrow. Now he can knock me out next turn. I don't really want to lose my Tapu Lele, but let's say hey, whatever. If we can hit, we can probably get a Crushing Hammer off Sika, and we can probably get rid of his Grass Energy, so that won't be too terrible. Maybe we can do that. I think we'll do it. Seems like a decent play. Seems fine. Uh, what else is my opponent going to do, though? I guess he'll Hollow Hunt this turn, too. Probably get back Rowlet, Dartrix, and probably a DCE. Maybe Psychic. Or a Nest Ball. He's probably going to do Hollow Hunt, though, for sure. I don't see why he wouldn't do it. Unless, like, he really wants to keep, like, Plea GX or, like, something. Oh, looks like he really does want to keep his Plea GX. There's a Crushing Hammer. Can he get heads? Oh, no. Okay. Have we used our Super Rod? I don't think we have. Alright, we have it. So I can afford to lose another Grass Energy. Alright, can we hit our DCE here and maybe some Hammers? Alright, we don't hit a DCE, but we do get a Crushing Hammer. So we can play this. And there we go. We can get rid of that Grass Energy on that pesky Decidueye. I'm just going to spread out the Energy a little bit. Uh, seems fine. Let's go Trainer's Mail. I want to keep these two cards in my hand. 
grab Sika. Okay. Two DCEs are in our discard, right? No, just one. Okay, so we don't need to do special charge right now. We can Ultra Ball. I kind of want to keep Skullgrunt though, so I'm kind of think I'm just going to Energy Drive him. I mean, he's not really attacking me next turn anyway, so... We can knock him out next turn with another Energy Drive, so that'll be good. I probably want to knock him out with Golly Slipod, though. This isn't the Tapu Lele show, guys. This is the Golly Spod show, so we got to attack him with Golly Spod after this, so seems fine. But yeah, we can keep him at bay here from playing Energies. I might even just go Skullgrunt. If we can top deck DC, I'll probably just go Team Skullgrunt here and uh, try and get rid of some of the Energy in his hand. I don't know if that's a good idea, but we can do it. Or, you know, he just, he just immediately scoops. We didn't even get to use Golly Spod though, unfortunately. Let's see what his deck was though. So yeah, it was like e two Eevees. What? That's kind of weird. Uh, did he have any other attackers but the Evolutions? He doesn't have a Rainbow Rare Decidueye. I mean, it's an interesting deck. It just it doesn't have Vile Plume, so that's one thing. I mean, a lot of a lot of energy. The holy cow! He's got three Psychics, one Grass, or three Grass, three Fairies. Wow. Okay, well that was an interesting deck. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, the Sidui Evolutions is already a pretty decent deck right now, so... I mean, there you go. Sylveon kind of extends that deck a little bit, so let's buy a pack of Guardians Rising. We have enough coins, we may as well. And before the next pack we think we get is like the Lorantis little bundle thing on Wednesday, and then I don't have enough coins to get them. Okay, so we'll buy the pack here, and you can see I got like 20 Guardians Rising packs from doing those tournaments that I was like grinding for on the weekend, so... Let's open this up, and either Sylveon... Uh, Tapu Coco or Tapu Lele would be greatly appreciated, or like, I don't know, a Victory Bell or something, something cool like that. Lilligant. I've been on a GX Dry Speak. I have not pulled, I've opened, I think, like, six, seven Guardians Rising packs since the tournaments. I got, I haven't gotten a single, a single, um, GX yet. I don't know what's going on. We've got a Verse Hall of Brooklyn Hill, which is decent. we got another Machoke, which is okay. I don't know how popular Decidueye is going to be anymore, but that's not too terrible, I guess. Sure. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll see you guys in another match with our uh, deck, and yeah, see you guys in a sec. Okay guys, let's go find another game with our Golly Spod deck. Golly Soul Pod. So, man, some of these Sun and Moon names are just, <laughs> they're out of this world. But we will see how we can do this, um, but hopefully we can just keep running into GX decks. My boy Golly Soul Pod eating up GXs, and it looks like we are going to be up against a Darkrai deck, which is fine since Darkrai being a Dark type, obviously. It's good since it is an EX, you know, Golly's Hope Pod eats up them EXs, and we do win the coin flip, which is great when, you know, you're using a deck like this, going first is always important. So we'll see what we can get, uh, looks like we are gonna mulligan, uh, if it is gonna be Darkrai, we can control his hand pretty well with, or not his hand, sorry, his energy, pretty well with, like, hammers and flare guns, since Darkrai decks do obviously want to build up a lot of energy, so we can kind of maybe control that, so hopefully that goes planned, we'll see. We keep mulliganing though, which ain't fun. Um, Alright, okay, another mulligan. I mean, we only play like six basics technically, so I mean, it's not the most likely thing, but still. And oh my goodness, dude, what is his hand? This is, I, this is like the third game in a row where I get these hands where like I have to sick them more away like 20 things I don't want to get sick more away, so I, I, I don't know what's going on. Ah. Uh, at the very least, I don't know if he can attack me this turn, but yeesh, dude. Two VS Seekers, a DCE. Oh my god, Sycamore, why are you doing- And he doesn't even give me anything good off of that. Oh my gosh. I think I'm just gonna have to end, dude. I could go another Crushing Hammer. Yeah, I think that's fine. Because what we can do, then we can just do Double Crushing Hammer, but... Dang, dude, what is that hand? Like, if he enhanced hammers me, I'm in trouble. Enhanced hammer would be pretty bad, because we wouldn't actually be able to attack him this turn. So hopefully we do not get hit with an enhanced hammer. We can probably win next turn, assuming he doesn't bench Pokemon enhanced hammer. I'm a, he might enhance hammer me, though. I mean, he could also win the game with, like, I don't know, a Tor or Spiny Fury, but we just see a Birch. Hopefully this gets Tails. Tails would be great. Please, Birch, don't do this to me. Or, okay, thanks a lot, Professor Birch. Thanks for doing this to me. Town map. Now, we can get a peek at what else he has in his deck. He plays hammers too. Oh no. Oh no! Please get tails. Oh god, if that get oh like whew, thank god. Thank god, that could have ended badly. I mean, he plays Zork, which is kinda bad too. But it is what it is. If we can top deck a golly so pod, I might just team flare gun. Actually no, that makes no sense. If he puts another energy down like Max Luxor, I don't know. What's that last card in his hand? In before enhanced hammer. Okay, thank god. Alright. Oh my really? 
Oh, I should've just taken that end, guys. I gotta lose. I mean, maybe I'll get, like, triple tailed. I don't know. Like, I could obviously whiff my end thing, but jeez. Like, can I please stop sycamoring away a bunch of stuff I don't want to lose? And are you joking me? We whiffed the golly so pod. Oh my god. Why, Pokemon? Why do you do this to me? Are you kidding? Oh my... Oh, the face palm is so real right now. I don't know what to say. I am... Can we lose next turn? It's possible. I'm more worried about losing my energy, though. If we got a knockout, we would have been... Oh, come on, Dolly Sopod, dude. Why do you hate me, fam? Oh, my goodness. I might just do this just to get this over with. because This is just torture at this point. Oh, my gosh. Come on, Gully Sopod. You, you have to do this to me today. What, like, why am I whiffing so hard? And why am I sycamoring so... I gotta do another sycamore, guys. I gotta lose all these other... Like... Bro. All right, he just passed, so his hand must be dead. Okay, well, we could delinquent him. But... And, uh, stupid. Could also do... Q I don't really want to lose some of these cards, but... Oh my god, I gotta lose so much, dude. <laughs> oh, for the love of god, I, I don't know what's going on. I might just honestly keep one Gully Sopod going this entire game. I guess we do Super Rod here. Nah. Do we need me? Yeah, I guess. Hmm. Trying to think what I could do. Um... I don't lose that DC, but we haven't used our special charge yet, so we can always do special charge, so... Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I was thinking not to do that, but it is what it is. I think we'll just grab another Wimpod. You never know, we could get knocked out next turn. I don't know if it's really possible. Yvelto does still do a lot of damage to me in the long term, but it's whatever. We'll get back these two grass. Would have liked to have gone back more, but whatever. I've been drawing, like, terrible this game, so... I want to hit my special charge. If, if he plays hammers, he could get rid of my energy. We don't want that to happen. Okay, um, I'm gonna hold on to that DC just in case we see it like an enhanced hammer or something. I think I just resolute claws take him out here. All right, we're we're getting things going. Little, you know, one turn, little too late, but hey, I mean, he's not really got much going. Um, hey, can we get a Lysander here? Okay, we get another Wimpod, another Golly Spod. That's good. Um, do we have Lysander in the discard? I don't think we do. Wow, the one supporter I would have loved to have my discard, and it's not in there. I think I just delinquent him here. Can't take him out, we're only doing 80. Actually, no, what am I doing? We, we can just bench Tapu Lele. We can just bench Tapu Lele and take him out. Yeah, that seems fine. Yeah, we'll go Tapu Lele for Lysander. In before my Lysanders are prized. Okay, there we go, we got one. We just take out Eveltal. Zoark, he does hit me. I don't think he knocks me out, though. I, I need a full bench for that to be the case, which I don't obviously have, so that's decent. And we just Resolute Claws, knock out his Eveltal. We're cleaning up pretty nicely, and then I think next turn we go either Delinquent or a Flare Grunt. Got more energy, which is good. I think I'm just going to Delinquent him. I mean, he loses the Reverse Valley, which is good. So I think I'll go with that. We have Tapu Lele. We can build up another Gully Spot. Ooh, he does find a DC, though. And a Zorg Break. All right, I, I, I mean, he could Zorg Break. Actually, no, he doesn't have a Dark Energy. I was going to say, like, Zorg Break, Lysander. Nah, never mind. That's fine. He just hits me from my jack, alright. Okay, so is Delinquent even relevant? I think we just gotta flare gun him here and make him lose his energy. I think we have to do it. Yeah, like, you only got one card. Like, what's Delinquent really gonna do? We could feel blower that away, too. I think I do that. Sure. Nah, but then that takes away our Delinquent play. Yeah, we'll, we'll just go with flare gun, I guess. We have a DC in our hand. I think I'm just gonna burn these Ultra Balls and get rid of that field blower. Field blower, I don't know if I'm even gonna need in this matchup. It's gonna thin out my deck a little bit, because if we get hit with an N, you know, you never know, we could. He could top deck N, and all could change. So I just Resolute Claws him for 80. If he doesn't have an energy, I mean, he needs it, like either a Dark or a DC to knock me out here, but if he does, we can just knock him out with my uh, other Gully Sapod. At least he's not top decking anything, though. At least he ain't top decking anything. He might even just retreat. If he does that, I just Lysander and uh, take out the Zorg Break Threat, and uh, okay, it looks like he's doing that. He could Moonless Madness me. Honestly, what, he would have just taken a knockout, though. Because he, he probably would know I only have, like, one DC left. I might not have it in my hand. So, I guess he just doesn't have anything. And we can just knock out that big old Zorua. 
and uh, win the game. After that, yeah. Zor, not really scary. We gotta take that that Zor break. It's got damage on it, but this guy might play center lady. You never know. You never know. You, you, you never know. Alright, is he gonna end his turn? Oh, am I getting disconnected from this game? I swear to God, if I am. I'm gonna cry. Let me check. Let me check. Alright, good. <laughs> he's just... I guess he's stalling because he knows he's in a bad spot. And he's like, dude, I'm gonna lose the game. Better not be my internet. <laughs> if it is, I'm gonna cry. If I get disconnected. I'll probably still use this if even I get disconnected. Cause this game was going perfect. Alright, is this guy gonna pass? Is he gonna pass or is... um? Is it on my end? Hopefully it's not on my end, because this game is going perfect. Come on, just pass fam. Okay, thank god. Whew! Alright, another grab- And he concedes. Alright. I guess he got this- I don't know. Oh my goodness, 100 coins. I don't think we have enough for a pack. I want to check what he what he had in his deck, though, real quick. Yeah, he had Tauros. He, well, he was drawn pretty dead. I mean, if he got, like, an Oranguru down, then that wouldn't have mattered, but that's fine. That was a good game, I'd say. We showed off how deadly Gold Spot can be when you get it going so that was pretty good okay we need 50 more coins which i don't think we can get i mean depends how many more games i do how many what time is it okay probably right, do one more game and then we'll go from there uh, we'll see though how this game will go and we hopefully play against another gx base deck a water deck this could be quad lapras which is still a bad matchup because again we do have to need two energies to attack but if it isn't quite, if it's like water box, this is a perfect matchup because Golly So Pod one shots Lapras, which is amazing. Even though Lapras one shots us, but I think it's just good that we one shot him too. So I'm praying this is water box and not quad Lapras. Water box would be amazing. Glaceon could get in our way, but I think we can get around that with Tapu Lele if we really needed it. So, all right, thanks for the mulligans. All right, come on, come on. If this is water box, then the mulligans could come in bad okay all right we we, <laughs> we saw whiffing <laughs> can we actually hit something please come on i know i only played like six basics okay all right these six basics are really coming to bite me in the butt now all right am i gonna actually start with a pokemon this time no oh my goodness pokemon don't do this shame and start i think i'd cry oh my god dude his hand's gonna be massive oh my goodness dude thank you oh my yeah, what, what do you know? I get two Sikkas, two cards. Oh my. Another hand that if I Sycamore it away, I'm going to lose some important resources so early on. Go go figure. Where is my hand? Oh my god, bro. This is the fourth game in a row I've had to do turn one Sycamores, and I lose like two VS Seekers and like other cards I don't want to get. This guy. I don't understand. Alright, please. Oh, look at his hand. It's so huge. Okay, at least he's not attacking me. Okay, it doesn't look... Okay, it is water box. Perfect, perfect. As long as it's not the quad Lapras, I'm fine, but... Jeez. Okay, he attaches and, pa and retreats, okay? I mean, his hand's so huge, I'm surprised he didn't, like, do any, like, max elixirs or, like, ultra ball aqua patch. So, I'm fine with that. He's going straight for Glaceon. That's fine. We can Lysander and use Tapu Lele. So, we have a lot of ways to get around Glaceon. Also, we can kind of control the energy with player guns and skull guns and hammers. Stuff like that. He hexes me... Alright, that's fine. We do lose Shaman, I guess, which kind of sucks. Oh my god, look at that, we top deck something we don't want to lose, go figure. Um, I think we just go crushing here, hopefully gets heads, it does, nice. Alright, we go Sicka. Alright, thank you though, Sycamore, for, uh, you know, forcing me to discard stuff I don't want to lose, but... To each his own. Uh, can he attack me next turn? It's possible Glaceon, triple max elixir, I mean his hand's so huge, he didn't really do anything with that hand though. So, sure. I mean, we don't have, we don't really have any other choice, I think. We kind of just have to hope he doesn't knock me out here. Why? Okay, I'm not, nah, nah. Because the thing is, is like, we're already going to be short so many VS Seekers off of this turn. So, yeah, I kind of wish it was a Grass Energy. We could have actually hit him for, like, 80 damage, which would have been kind of funny. But, yeah, just teach his own. Yeah, there's Aqua Patch at least. I mean, if he builds up that Glaceon, I'm going to be in trouble because he knocks me out and then I actually can't attack him unless I force Tapu Lele. So I'm praying he doesn't attack. It's fine. Okay, then. Okay, that's fine. As long as this dude doesn't hit a Max Elixir and a Water Energy, which I'm, he, he's going to. There's no way he's not going to hit a Max Elixir and Water Energy off this. There's no way. There is no way in heck. There, if this dude doesn't hit it, I'm going to be genuinely shot. But he's going to hit the Max Elixir and Water. Let's be real here. It's PDCGO. Let, let's be real here. Dive Ball. I right, put, put, put more Pokemon that I can knock it on your bench. Go be my guest. Be my guest. Okay. 
You could also just go with uh, collect. You never know. Via seeker? Mmm, he didn't hit it. Nice. Hex? Okay, he can't hex me though, thankfully. Alright. Hmm. If we can hit a grass energy here, I think we can knock out Glaceon, which I really want to do. So I'm going to go for it. Go here. Okay, max elixir. How many grass energy do I even have left? That's the thing. We gotta go shaman for three, and if we hit a grass, we take out this Glaceon, and then we are gonna remove a huge threat off the board. So come on, the one time I don't... The one time... No! Oh my god. Alright, we can max elixir. At the very least, yeah. Rip. He's gonna hex me again, which I don't really care about. But he's forced to hex me. He would have sick more for... Wouldn't he be a secret for an end, though? I don't want to... Eh. Alright, that's fine. Whatever. We, we gotta go Sika again, guys. We can't end him. I can't really afford to end him. I could. I get that. Whatever. We're, we're, we're already sticking with the Sika play. We, we whiff a grass. Okay, thank God. Thank gosh. Okay, let's go mail. See if we can find anything. Flare ground. I'm gonna take that just in case. Could have grabbed Skull Ground too, but I don't think it matters. We can burn this Nest Ball because we're gonna probably... We're gonna take two prizes here. Might as well burn this. Yeah, well, nah, maybe we should have put that on the bench. I don't know. Whatever, let's just Resolute Claws knock him out. And then Lysander, any Lapras man, if he, he tries to put on the bench next turn. In case he ends me here. I don't know. I mean, Hex isn't going to matter. Okay, we might actually be able to move two energy off this Glaceon, which is going to be what we kind of need to do. If we can Crushing Hammer and Flare Gun the energy off the Glaceon, he's not going to be really being able to attack me. So, hopefully he does that. And I, even if not, I can just Tapu Lele and be like, yo fam, I got the Tapu. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. So, if if the Crushing Hammer misses, I'm just going to knock out his Mana Fee. So, here we go. Crushing Hammer, are you going to miss? Hey, hey, look at that. Alright. That's fine. And then we can Flare Gunt that off, too. Go Max Elixir, try and get more Grass Energy in play. Maybe, I wish I could have put that on top of Lele now. That's fine, though. That's fine. He could Second Bite me, too. Does Armor protect that? Nah, we still get knocked out. Might as well just knock out the mana fee then. Yeah, that's fine. Hmm. Hmm. He definitely has a water energy in his hand. He just knocks me out a second bite. I can knock him out with a golly support, I guess. Yeah, sure, it's not bad. Alright, yeah, fine. Okay, sure. We can maybe respond with another golly support knockout, so that seems good. We'll try and do that. I mean, maybe we get lucky to not have water, you never know. If he doesn't have water, then uh, we just knock out Glaceon. He might even just retreat, hide behind Remoraid. We Lysander it out. All is good. That's fine, I got Field Blower in my hand, Aqua Patch, that doesn't put it on your active. Does he? He's gotta have a support in his hand, there's no way he would have just via Seeker. Alright, he has a water. Sick of two, jeez. Jeez, Louise! Okay, we definitely need to get our Tapu Lele down. ASAP. Max Elixir, alright, be my guest. Is he gonna put down a Pokemon, though? I mean... We can't actually win the game by knocking out Manaphy and Remoraid. So we'd have to knock out Glaceon. But again, we do have my boy Tapu Lele. So that'll be one thing. So second bite unfortunately does knock out my Gully Sapod, even with the resistance. That Hex Maniac was huge. But it's all good. Yeah, we bring out Wimpod. And before we whiff, okay. I need to hit my special charge off of this Sycamore. Oh, look at that. I topped another supporter I didn't want to draw into. Go figure. Um. I mean, I could just flare gun again so he actually can't knock me out if i do that that still slows him down quite a bit like if i i need the lysander though fam i don't like this i can flare gun and then ram i don't know Gotta take out this Glaceon. He could always drop a Fnatic for another belt, though. That's fine. Whatever. We'll go Sika. Okay, there we go. That perfecto. Alright, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Hmm, I'm trying to think how we do this. I think we Ultra Ball away to Grass. And I need to find a... I need to find a Choice Band. One left. If we don't hit Choice Band here, ooh, we're gonna be short. We can take him out with Tapu Lele, I guess. That's fine, but still. We gotta go... Come on, Choice Band. Yes! 
Okay, awesome. Dude, we hit it, boy. We we hit the boy. And I think we just go here and get these other DCEs we lost. I really want to find my Super Rod, too, some, at some point. But it's all good. I'll keep the Tapulele in my hand in case he, like, ends me or something. Something we can, we can draw into. And we take out this Glaceon and... Uh, well, there you go. We kind of have a win, and there's our last Lysander, so if he tries to hide behind Remoraid and slowly build up a Lapras, we just Lysander knock it out. And then I think I'll end up the video. I think we showed off this deck pretty well in these two games. We managed to get around a pretty tough threat, Glaceon. You can see why I like having this deck with hammers and stuff, because that Glaceon got shut down because of that fact, so that's a good thing. So you can kind of see why I like building this deck around the hammers instead of, like, I don't know, like, Evolutions. Uh, yeah, it looks like he's gonna just hide behind Remoraid, but we have the- unless he ends me to two? But if we draw into our Tapu Lele, we uh, kind of just knock him out. So, it's kind of win. Okay, there is an end to two. Alright, we have to either get Tapu Lele or Lysander. We might not get it, though. I think- I mean, we have two Golly Spawns out anyway. It's not like if he takes me out- oh, there, we have the win. We got the win. Unless, like, for some reason we don't top deck anything. <laughs> for some reason, he drops a Love Disc and prevents me from drawing. Then I'm pretty sure we win the game. Super odd. He can get back his Glacier on. At this point, it doesn't really matter, though. It doesn't really matter at this point, because we basically have the win, my boys, with my boy, Golly So Pod. The poddiest of Gollies. And the just absolutely reckless EXGX killer. Can I say kill? I'll lose my ads, right? No, I'm kidding. I don't make any money off YouTube. Alright. He's retreating, and we win the game. Unless Tapu Lele is for some reason prized. So, here we go. We go Ultra. Grab ourselves my boy Lele. And we dig for that Lysander, we knock out Manaphy, and that, my boys, is how you do it in the hood with Golly Sopod. We ran into some trouble in some matches, especially in the match that I didn't show where I was playing against Trevenant, but it's all good, it's all good, whoops, I just opened up OBS, alright, here we go, we bring out that big boy, and uh, we win the game, Golly Sopod proving itself to destroy these EX decks, so who knows, this deck could have potential, I mean, maybe, maybe the Hammers version is the best way, I think it's the best way. 25 coin, yeah, rip. We didn't get 50. If we got 50, we wouldn't be able to buy a pack, but it's kind of rip. But yeah, thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more PDCGO content. Help me on the road to 2,000 subscribers. It'd be awesome. We're going to hit it one day, folks. We are going to hit it one day. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys in another PDCGO video with the Guardians Rising Night. DLC 5 is out by the time you're watching this video, so I got to get ready for that. See you guys later. Have a good day, and goodbye.